Hey, Troy, how are we doing? Good, how are you? Yeah, good. good. Second pick six in a, in a row. Uh, you know, how how well are you seeing the ball and the quarterbacks out there right now? Uh, I feel we're getting really, like, we're getting coached to get really good pre-snap reads. Coach Nalahine has been setting us up in practice all week to, we've been doing drills, working on every single thing we see. And it also helps when I have great linebackers applying pressure. They're getting quarterbacks getting the ball out quick it's easier to make plays yeah just take us through that pick six man I mean they were driving I mean just what did you kind of see on that play and you know what was the feeling to make a play like that for your team well they lined up with that single receiver and um, I noticed that their tight ends ineligible so really I can just cheat over and help a little bit and then AJ Edwards came off the edge and got the quarterback's arm which tipped the ball a little bit which gave me an even better chance to drive up get the ball and make a play were you thinking past there? I mean, I know kind of situationally, but they just run it, you know, like 10 times in a row I, or whatever. I know number one's their guy, and I, I, was, I was assuming I, most of the time I'm pretty sure they were going to go there. It just seemed like it. they went to him all night. Was this pick six better? You know, uh, I mean, I, you, where are you ranking this one? You know, what was the excitement level of this one? It was, it was definitely good. I think it helped. It really changed the momentum because they, really, they were close to getting in really good scoring distance, but definitely going to put the Mountain View one up there. Cause it's bittersweet that we got the loss, but... That, that one felt really good. Well, to come back and win this week, uh, you know, get back on the right track, how, how does that kind of, you know, improve your guys' morale after last week? It, it really helps us set the tone. We weren't very happy about the loss, obviously. It's the first loss in three years for Rocky and the SIC. But uh, I think it's going to boost us up a little bit and help us roll through these next couple games. What was uh, what was practice like this like this last week? Is there, you guys hadn't lost a regular season game since 2017, so really no one had been through a practice after a loss. The first day, coach talked about like our energy and how it's just really down, and we weren't like the best. And it like, what do you expect though? It's been a team that's been able to just keep winning and winning. It's a winning culture, not used to losing, but we got on top of it. The leaders, the seniors, Caden Kelly, DJ, uh, Mason Jacobson, they all got us together, and we just realized we gotta we gotta focus, we gotta play because this is the game. We gotta win. Did you feel like some people were doubting you guys? I mean, after a loss like that, like, oh, Rocky's maybe not Rocky anymore. I mean, did, was that talked about at all? Or I think it's definitely in the air. Um, it's not – I don't think it's something that's true. I think we'll, we're still – we're definitely still relevant for sure. But uh, one loss I don't think determines us or anything, and we'll be back for sure. And four, four division games still to go, you know. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, you guys and Eagle are probably the two favorites to, to win the division. Sure. So to, to get off on the right track – with a win against them, what's that mean for you guys? It means a lot. It really showed us like what we're going to see, I think, from them if we match up again. And uh, it definitely, it, it really just means a lot, honestly. I, I think it's great to play them home turf. It's their home opener. It's, it's a great, great like, scene. To do like, you know, to bounce back like this kind of show what you guys are about and then do it against Eagle, too, in a rival game like yeah. that. How much does that add to it? Definitely with the rival game, it, it for sure adds to it. With Coach Kreiner retiring, we really wanted to keep that that trophy in his hands. And I was telling him that before the game. And it's just like, it means a lot. We got a Kreiner on the team and it just it just keeps coming. It's Kreiner football at Rocky. So we just want to keep that that rolling and rolling and rolling. For so is that, is that Scott's nephew then or is that? I think so, Jackson Kreiner. He's, he's a, a senior, he's number four. Okay. Yeah. I know there's a bunch of Kreiners. I never oh yeah, I they're all over I the can't place. Eastern Washington, <laughs> yeah, yeah. coaches, yeah. All right. Awesome. Thank well, you thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you guys.